What does it really mean for a comet's tail to be wider than five full moons? Let's put that into perspective. We're not talking about a small, fuzzy patch in the sky. This is a massive structure, stretching over two and a half degrees, which translates to a physical length of millions of kilometers. For observers, even in suburban areas, this makes it a stunning sight in binoculars. A comet actually has two distinct tails. The first is the dust tail, made of heavier particles pushed back by the pressure of sunlight itself, giving it a yellowish-white glow. This tail curves gracefully as it follows the comet's orbital path. The second, and often more dramatic, is the ion tail. This is composed of gases that have been ionized by the sun's ultraviolet radiation, creating charged particles like carbon monoxide ion CO plus that glow with a distinct electric blue light. Because these particles are electrically charged, the ion tail is sculpted by the solar wind and its magnetic field, always pointing directly away from the sun. With Swan's tail being so expansive, even small telescopes can reveal incredible details. Knots of dust, shifting streamers, and sudden kinks. Amateur astronomers are already capturing these changes, creating time lapses that show the tail evolving hour by hour. This massive, unfurling tail isn't just for show, it's a giant sensitive windsock in space about to get hit by a solar storm.